As he neared the splotch of red and gray matter smeared across the grass, Sheriff Walter pulled out his flashlight and shone it onto the long, messy streak. There were still a few parts of the body that were recognizable. A gnarled hand here, a single breast there, a chunk of leg, the backside of her head. It all looked so... delicious. Walter was shocked by the thought, but as he moved closer to the body's mutilated hand, all he could think about was how tasty one of those three fingers might be on his tongue. How high had that fever been last night, he tried to remember? 103 Fahrenheit? Maybe more. He reached down, broke off one of the fingers, and slipped it into his mouth. It felt good to be eating solid food again. Hey, Sheriff! He looked up. It was Deputy Holmes. His shotgun had never looked so big or sounded so loud. Ado Van Belkem is Canada's premier horror author. The winner of many awards, including the likes of the Bram Stoker, Aurora, and Silver Birch Awards. He has published over 30 novels and 200 short stories. Ado has had quite a diverse career. He has been a newspaper reporter, short story writer, full-time author, and even a television movie host. We had an opportunity to join Mr. Van Belkem in his home to comment on his career thus far. People have asked me why I chose writing as my profession, but it really it chose me. Uh, it's something I wanted to do from a very young age, and I wasn't quite sure why I wanted to, but it was something I just wanted to do, so I pursued it. Well, people call you uh, Canada's Stephen King, huh? You ever been hit by a car? Uh, no, no, I don't go for I don't go for walks much. All right, good, good. Now, that, does that bother you? Because uh, you know, people will often compare me to people in the USA. He's Canada's, you know, whatever. I don't want to say right now because they're on the air. It wouldn't bother me if it came from my bank manager, but he's yeah. never the he's never the one to make the comparison. Yeah. On the one hand, it's great. You know, anytime you can have your own name mentioned with Stephen King, that's terrific. Because sure. everybody's heard of Stephen King. You bet. On the other hand, it, it raises expectations that, you know, uh, well, how come I haven't seen a movie of one of your works yet? We're in Canada, though. Know? You don't want to make it a movie out of one of your works. <laughs> I've written uh, something like 235, 240 short stories. But from those, I would have to say, you know, there's a dozen or more stories that just are every note is right. Edna glanced at the kitchen counter. Her rolling pin was there. A chipped and cracked rolling pin made out of marble she'd found years ago in a dumpster. There's a story based on, you know, a Robert Block style of writing called The Rug, which turned out really, really well. She stared at the rolling pin for what seemed like forever. And then finally picked it up. You gotta have a piggy bank here somewhere, or maybe a roll of pennies. And let it fall. When you work as a full-time writer, you end up doing a lot of things that are like writing or related to writing, but not really writing. I've taught at universities and colleges. I've done uh, magazine articles and book reviews. I've done a lot of school visits. But by far the best job related to my horror writing was as a movie host on Scream TV. Hi, I'm Ado Van Belkom and welcome to Postmortem here on Scream. Basically, I did four introductions to movies at midnight, Monday to Thursday, and then I did a little extra after the movie was done. I'm Edo Van Belt. Good night. And pleasant dreams. And it was a fantastic job. It was one of my favorite jobs ever. And it only lasted for three months, though, because uh, Scream was being launched. There was a free preview. And during the free preview, there was a bunch of us movie hosts. But uh, once people had to pay for the uh, service, that gig ended. But by far, the months I spent doing that were by far the most fun I've ever had, doing something related to my horror writing. These days, Ada writes simply as a hobby. Mostly his short story series for Truck News Magazine, Mark Dalton, owner-operator. He looks back at his years as a full-time writer with a great sense of pride and accomplishment, waiting for another story that urges to be told. We would like to thank Mr. Van Belkom for joining us on this week's segment, as he leaves us with his final thoughts. For anybody who wants to become a writer, the thing is you have to read a lot and you have to write a lot. And you have to not get discouraged. Perseverance is probably the biggest asset an aspiring writer can have. 